friends or make some new ones. Seven times he's been honored for outstanding sports in the state of Virginia. My game, my rules. Super Bowls, World Series, NCAA championships. Just dance. It'll be okay. You name it, he's covered it. You've seen him on the sidelines for ESPN. And now... Relax, baby. From the WFIR studios in the star city of the South... I can't look like this. Here's Greg Roberts. Oh, my goodness. Here we are. Oh, man. Welcome to your weekend. Welcome to another absolutely delightful where have you been weekend hopefully your work day is done if you're still grinding along like we are well we welcome you in as well you're listening to greg roberts live we are your information station this is news talk 960 on the am dial fm 107.3 wfir where you find all of your news local news national news all of your weather your traffic updates your heavy hitters of talk and a whole bunch of sports and a lot of good other stuff. Hello, good people of Central and Southwestern Virginia. Let me just tell you this. Sometimes on Fridays, you know, people kind of gear it down a little bit. Maybe, maybe don't give it their quote all. Now, of course, I'm not talking about you, but some do. And you know who I'm talking about. That guy kind of sits next to you in the office. That, that, that guy, right? Well, I want you to know we have absolutely put together what I think is a very informative, entertaining, eye-opening, and a lot, a lot of other stuff in there. Uh, this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be a nice show. We are gonna go down live to Daytona. Check in with Joey Self to get you ready for the upcoming Daytona 500. We have a special guest scheduled to stop by the studio, and uh, this is a local guy who was about to hit the national stage, and we are extremely excited. Um, probably one of the funner things we've been involved with. On the program, so uh, hold on for that. Also, just some uh, some awful news. Could have been worse. Could have been worse, but some bad news for Radford Athletics. The NCAA handing down its punishment as a result of the investigation into the infractions of Brad Greenberg's program down with the Radford Highlanders. They just released that about an hour ago. You heard Evan talking about it at the top of the uh, top of the hour. Uh, we will follow up and kind of break it down a little bit and let you know uh, let you know what's what. And I heard something that in in it, for me it's very refreshing. If you didn't hear the comments from Lamar basketball coach Pat Knight, the son of Bobby Knight, last night following the ball game between Lamar and Stephen F. Austin, um, I think they were refreshing. I think they were brutally honest. And I, I one of the things I always people can say a lot of things about Greg Roberts. Okay, one thing I want you to always always be able to say about me is, hey, you know where the guy stands. Guy in a fraud. I mean, he's he's gonna he's gonna shoot it straight. And I think Pat Knight last night was shooting it straight. And it also leads me to believe perhaps Pat Knight is at the end of his rope with a certain group of seniors there in his basketball program. So uh, we are just. I mean, to tell you, the bucket is so full. It's it's, it's, sl- it's sloshing over the sides. Get on in here, everybody. First and foremost, say hello to my sidekick, the guy that makes it happen around here. I had him in there scrambling, trying to find Pat Knight's comments. How are we doing, Coach Knight's comments? We oh, got him. We, we got it. Ready to go. That's, uh, away. Trey, you, you you always deliver. You know what I mean? That's You're all, you always deliver, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Douglas MacArthur Brown the third. Good Friday, everybody. Around here we call him. Uh, we call him. Uh, we call him Trey. Um, okay, Trey. I, I guess we better just go ahead and uh, before we no. W- what would you recommend? Should we officially start the show and then go to big announcement music? I think that's probably best because yes, yeah. when we don't officially start the show, <laughs> it gets ugly. We spent a whole year with Fergie of the Black Eyed Peas getting us started. That was uh, uh, when you knew we were officially underway. Uh, that became tiresome, and we try to keep things around here kind of kind of fresh. We, we don't we don't want fresh, we don't want it to get stale. So I said, "Hey Trey, can you find us some some new official start music?" So we checked out a few things, and uh, we decided to go with uh, with Ozzy for for uh, un- until we get sick of Ozzy. Yeah. So uh, now. When Greg Roberts live featuring Douglas MacArthur Brown the third is officially underway, you know it. Get on the train. Let's pull this thing out of the station. <laughs> Why does that make me laugh every time? <laughs> I that love dude, it. That dude is sideways, isn't he? Man, something wrong with him. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, man, Ozzy. 
All right, that's it. We are officially up and running. We will go from our official start music to big announcement music because just sitting down in the studio, let me have it, Trey, if you could get me going. This is, uh, we play this when we have big announcements. Get it going. This, oh, man, this just sounds big. This has got to be something good. We rarely break out the big announcement music. What could the big announcement be on a Friday afternoon? Ooh. Well, back in studio, and let me just let me just get everybody up to speed. Um, it probably was a couple of weeks ago mm-hmm. we found out that one of our local guys was in the running for one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time with Major League Baseball, and uh, they had like I, I think it was I don't know twenty two thousand people apply for this fan cave uh, promotion they had going on, mm-hmm. and they whittled it down to fifty. Our guy was in the final 50, but he he told us it's not done. It's not done. They're going to make another cut, and they're going to get it down to the final 30, the final 30 participants who will indeed be in and will be spending a year in the Major League Baseball fan cave. Not bad. And we are delighted to announce that Ricky Mast from Rockbridge is one of the finalists and he is sure. he's going to be participating. This is going to be a great year for him. And uh, he's in studio right now. So let's welcome in Mr. Fan Cave himself, Ricky Mass. Kiddo, how <laughs> excited are you about this? Uh, I'm uh, I'm very excited, Greg. Extreme. I I didn't even have to drive down here. I think I just floated down here in a cloud. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Well, as windy as it is outside, I probably could have done that if I actually wanted to. But uh, uh, I'm extremely excited and. and just to clarify, I, um, I am going to be in Arizona next week for for spring training. Uh, there is still one more round of cuts left to go. Wait a minute, man! You yeah. just keep. I mean, what oh, the heck's man. going on here? I, I, mean, know. You, I know. All right, so all right. First of all, a lot of people tuning in are like, "Whoa, what's going on? We got a local right. guy doing what with Major League Baseball?" Give us the skinny so we know exactly where we are right up to this moment. Right. Right. Well, as you said, we've uh, we've come all the way. We started with twenty two thousand people across uh, North America, and now we're down to the final thirty. Okay. The final 30 are going out to Arizona. Uh, I fly out of here, out of Roanoke, uh, bright and early Tuesday morning, 5 o'clock. Uh, head out to Arizona, have some fun out there. Uh, we're going to be there a couple days. We're going to be doing different sorts of interactive uh, you know, functions, events. Uh, and anyways, based on these events, uh, the, the Major League Baseball people are going to send a group of us out of that 30, probably 5 to 10 people, are going to go to New York and uh, live in the MLB Fan Cave, which is... Uh, it's basically the uh, the ultimate office for the dream job of baseball, if you want to put it that way. It's 15,000 square feet, um, and we sit there, we watch all the games, we talk about the games through all forms of social media, and when we're not watching games, we're hanging out and uh, filming stuff with uh, big league ball players and celebrities. So it's uh, it's quite a life. It's not bad. Man, well, we're we're very, very excited. We'll be tracking you. We got our fingers crossed that you you will. So there what's the number? What's the how we're down to thirty we're now? We're down to thirty and, and we're gonna end up at somewhere I think somewhere between five and ten. They haven't actually said originally it was five gonna be, and ten? Well, we're not sure. Originally they said they were gonna take up to six, but now, you know, the the, the language seems to have changed a little bit, so they might actually take more. And and, and uh some of us are hopeful that they will. So well, we're really excited for you. We think this is, I mean, for a baseball fan and a young guy, I mean, you're not in your 30s yet, are you? Not yet. I'm, I'm 28. I'm holding Knocking on to on 22, <laughs> but I'm uh, officially I'm 28. That's yeah. going to be a black. Are you married? You got kids? Or is this something you can pull off? I can. No, I'm single. So yeah. I can. So it's, yeah, yeah. If I, if I were, if I were uh, married or anything like tough. that, I, I sure. couldn't do it. No, no. But no, I'm totally single. Um, ladies out there listening 28 single yeah. um but uh but yeah i'm i'm uh totally clear to do this uh you know i can pretty much drop everything here and do this how so. do we track you i mean is there, is there mm-hmm. somewhere online or or has major league baseball set up yet how how we can keep up with your progress or your blog your information right. your videos uh the, the the best way right now uh at this point is, is on twitter just at ricky mast r-i-c-k-y-m-a-s-t uh that that'll be the best way right now um you can find me on Facebook too. Look me up on there. I'll try to keep keep uh, folks updated there. Um, you know, as far as as through, you can go to mlbfancave.com. dot uh, com. Right now, it's still they've just got the thirty people listed with our video, our original submission videos up there. Uh, I'm sure that as as things kind of get started next week in Arizona, that they'll be uh, updating things on the official site. All right, Ricky, I wanted to get you in studio with us this after. It's Friday, you know. We loosen the reins up a little bit, and right. you, you crack me up. You have a di- <laughs> you have a different perspective. You're talented. I watched your submission video, and Trey and I loved it. And uh, 
Also, uh, for a number of reasons, um, I wanted you to hang out in the studio with us uh, uh, today. And and it, initially, I told you, hey, can you you know stay with us for the five o'clock hour? But we're also scheduled to check in with Joey Self uh, of WFIR News. Mm-hmm. And uh, Joey does work for NASCAR, and he's down track announcing for for Daytona cool. all week. And uh, we have our NASCAR segment coming up, and just that you know NASCAR trickles through your blood. True. And for those of you who who may not know this, um, Ricky's father, Rick Mass, longtime veteran NASCAR driver, and I would just like to have you hang around with us uh, over the course of the show and and throw some input in there. Uh, being that uh, you know you've you've seen a lot on that NASCAR uh, circuit, and, I, and can you do it? You got anything pressing? Man, I would love to. I okay. got nothing going on. I'd love to. All right, that's it. We've got a uh, Trey Brown, Ricky Mast. I'm Greg Roberts, and let's get this thing going here. Um,